What's up YouTube? Today we got a video I'm very excited about. Uh, if you've seen my first video, you know that I really like the way Shia LaBeouf dresses. In particular, I really like the boots that he wears. Um, the boots that he wears are Nike SFBs. Um, for those that don't know, SFB is a special force boot, so it's basically a combat boot. Um, it's not bulky like a lot of combat boots, it's very slim and tapered. Um, and uh, yeah, I've wanted a pair for I want to say maybe four or five years, but they're very hard to find. I've looked on StockX, they do have some, but they're in very limited sizes. I think they have like fives and sixes, but if you're looking for like an eight and a half, nine, which is what I am for a shoe, uh, there's nothing. And I think if something did pop up, it'd be very expensive. So, yeah, I was shocked uh, a couple days ago, I actually found something that looks identical to it. And in the least likely place, I found it on Amazon. I was looking for a gym bag, and I'm kind of looking for like that military surplus kind of look for a gym bag. And sure enough, I scrolled down on the page, and they got boots. And I was, bl I, I literally thought they were like knockoffs, because they look almost identical to the Nike SFB. So, I quickly ordered a pair, and they're not a bad price. Um, so for those of you that are in America, it'd be much better. They're 70 bucks American. I'm in Canada, so that means, you know, I got the conversion, then I got the shipping and handling. So 70 USA uh, came to, with shipping and handling, and the conversion, about $120 Canadian, which isn't bad. So I'm hoping that the quality is good. It seems, feels very weird and wrong to buy a shoe off Amazon. Uh, and with a Nike SFB, you know, it's Nike. You kind of know what you're getting quality-wise. Generally, Nike's pretty good quality. But with any other combat boot, that's a completely different world for me. So I have no idea size-wise how it fits, feel, comfort, durability. Not that I'm going to be doing anything crazy with it. I'm more getting the boot for the look, not to be an actual combat boot. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, I got it right here. It just came. It came very quickly. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd open it up on camera here. So there you go. The brand is, is it Rothko? Rothko, yeah. So never heard of the brand. No idea um, if it, well, I'm hoping it's good, but I have no idea. But yeah, America's foremost supplier of military footwear and apparel. So, you know, that's a good sign. And I think, what size did I get? I got a nine. I got an, oh man, like the picture. I'll open it up, but there's a picture right there. And if you know what an SFB looks like, that looks identical to it. So I'm very excited. Let's get into it. It's my first YouTube unboxing. Make sure we're recording. I can only unbox this once. Yep, we're good. We're going. So the big, big thing I'm worried about is the size. I'm hoping the size fits. Ooh, so right off the bat, they look very nice. I'm okay, and they're they're actually very light too, which is good. I was a little worried. I feel like some well, I feel like a cheap shoe can go either way. Either it can be super light, which is a bad sign, or it could be an absolute rock. Okay, so here we go. This is one of the shoes. Um. The, because SFBs, there's quite a few colors. Um, I think the color that Shia LaBeouf wears is like a desert coyote, I think is what it's called. I'm not exactly sure. But the, so Rothko had a couple colors. This was the one that looked the most similar to it. And just the color that I like the best. There we go. Okay, so yeah, it's like a canvas material. Almost, it's got like a suede, suede uh, toe box and a suede, a little back of the heel suede as well. That's really nice. Yeah. So we got a nine, made in China. That's a, <laughs> it's a good sign. That's a great sign. And it's got this little toe tag. We can take that off. Yeah, initial reaction though, it seems good. It seems flexible enough. Um, a lot of times with, you know, cheaper shoes are like a rock at the bottom. I'd be very curious to get this hand in hand with an actual SFB. Not that this is a knockoff or anything. I think it's just Nike's version of a combat boot and just see the differences. But out of the gate, I'm happy with it, honestly. Yeah. What does this say on it? Yeah, so those wanting the exact model, um, the VMAX lightweight tactical boot is, I, th I think that's the official name of the boot. The big thing with any shoe, 
is will it fit, you know? That's why you try it on in the store, but when you're ordering online, you can't really do that. So, happy with them so far, but the plan for the video is um, I'm gonna take them to a local park, I'm gonna try them on, kinda get some footage, and I also wanna do a couple outfits. So I'm gonna do two outfits, um, both similar but slightly different. And although it's summertime, these outfits are more for fall, but you can easily wear them on uh, like a chilly or summer day. Like today, um, it's not sunny, it's supposed to rain a little bit later. So the outfits I'm gonna show you today will be perfect for a day like that. So I'll pack up the boots, we'll head to the park, and I'll show you what they look like on foot. Let's go. The boots seem to fit all right. Um, I feel like, I think I'm generally about an eight and a half. These are a nine, so they're maybe a half size too big. But honestly, I don't know. I probably could have maybe at least half a size, maybe even a full size down, but like, let's see if I walk around. Yeah, they feel a little bit big. Hmm. I don't know. I can't really tighten them up. I could probably go for a, a whole size down. But yeah, we'll do some full body shots. The outfit I'm wearing right now is the first outfit. It's kind of based off, I'll put an outfit on the screen here. So I just mixed up a little bit. Did the denim on denim, you know, the Canadian look, yeah, representing my roots. Um, but yeah, so I'll put it on the table. I'll show you the first look. So that's the first look. I think this looks really casual, which is nice. You can kind of wear it around the city, around anywhere, and it'll, you, it'll look normal. Um, and it's easy. And a day like today where it's raining and it's a little bit cold, it's perfect. I wouldn't say this is the best outfit for a usual day in the summer. Um, but yeah, I'll do outfit number two. Outfit number two is a lighter jacket. I'm gonna take the hoodie off underneath, um, but it's still perfect. And it's a bit more of a military look. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. That's look number two. I said it's a bit more of a military look simply because of the jacket. I actually got this jacket at a, it was a thrift store, but it had like a military surplus section. So it's more of like a, I don't, I don't want to say the wrong word, but more of a formal military jacket. I don't know what the term for that would be. But both outfits, I like. The boots I like as well. I'm debating getting a size down. I know if I size down, they'd be perfect. I worry that, I should, maybe I should take them off now, because I want to be able, if I want to return them, I better be brand new. So, yeah, the boots, I like. They have a bit of a crinkle to the um, the material that kind of runs up the ankle. I don't know, like the collar of the boot, maybe that's what it's called. Um, so I'm not a big fan of that, but I feel like that would go away with wear and tear. Um, but yeah, I like them. I got them a size too big, probably. Um, but I really like them, I feel like they're a great aesthetic. And the big reason, I wanna finish the video off with this, saying the reason I like these boots and like this look is because it's just different what everybody else is wearing. And not to sound like a hipster being like, oh, you gotta wear what's different. But like the reason I like fashion, the reason I feel a lot of people like fashion is because it kind of gives you a way to represent and present yourself the way that you actually are. Not that you have to be different, but it's nice to wear something that's a bit different than say like a Blundstone or a Doc Martin. Like those kind of boots, like they're great and everybody wears them for a reason because they look nice and they're good quality. But it's also nice to have something that's a bit more different and a bit more unique. And that's that's the whole reason why I love the way Shia LaBeouf dresses. Because a lot of celebrities, 
with his kind of money could buy whatever they want uh, but I think he's but I, you know what that's probably the reason why he doesn't because he has all that money So he realizes why be like everybody else. I just be who I want to be Whereas a lot of us us normies us non-celebrities we try and dress to present ourselves a certain way So yeah, I would suggest if you've never tried a combat boot the Rothko boot seems to be a good one um, Like anything you buy online sizing's difficult. So traditionally I'll guess with a Nike. I'm about a eight and a half I got a nine in the boot I might even get an eight in the boot. I feel like it's big enough and I got enough room that I could probably go a whole size down. So if you're trying to size, I'd say maybe go half a size down from what you normally wear, and I think it would probably fit you fine. Uh, I also have a pretty narrow foot, so it's a bit of a wider shoe. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, just get a bit smaller. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. It's a very simple one this time. Um, I'll put some b-roll in of the shoes um, Just to kind of give you a closer look of what the shoe looks like, but thanks for watching if you could like and subscribe It'd mean a lot. Uh, I currently only have I think about 16 subscribers uh, But it's it feels like I wake up on Christmas morning every time I check and it goes from like 15 to 16 Or I get a new comment. It just means a lot and I know it's nothing big But so if you like and subscribe I 100% I notice and it means a lot. So yeah, thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed, and yeah, I challenge you. Try something new with your fashion, whether it's a combat boot or uh, just, just anything. Just try and be different with your fashion. That's what makes it fun. So thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'll catch you in the next one. Fashion.